supporters, are you better off than you were four years ago? When it comes to the economy, do you believe Americans are better off than they were four years ago? I had no inflation, virtually no inflation. They had the highest inflation perhaps in the history of our country because I've never seen a worse period of time. People can't go out and buy cereal or bacon or eggs or anything else. These, the people of our country are absolutely dying with what they've done. They've destroyed the economy. And all you have to do is look at a poll. The polls say 80 and 85 and even 90 percent that the Trump economy was great, that their economy was terrible. Peter K. Navarro here. And what we're going to do now right here in the war room is work our way through the transcript, essentially, of the... Trump Harris debate and score it like we would a boxing match. The um, the way this thing started was with the economy. Uh, David Muir hit uh, Harris with the, the famous Ronald Reagan question: the way he beat Jimmy Carter. Are you better off today than you were four years ago? Uh, she completely ducked that question and pivoted as she was programmed to do uh, into a recitation of her youth to get you feeling warm and fuzzy. Trump comes in and uh, lays it out, highest inflation for them, no inflation uh, for him, and correctly cites the polls that people think that he did a lot better job and they're doing a terrible job. So uh, let's score one right there for Trump. Let's um, do she doesn't have a plan. Denver. Have a plan. She copied Biden's plan and it's like four sentences, like run, spot, run. Policy she plan. has a plan to defund the police. She has a flat plan to confiscate everybody's gun. President Trump, she has a plan to, to, to not issues. allow fracking in Pennsylvania or anywhere else. Okay, that's, that's what her good. plan is until just recently. All right, that that was uh, that was beautiful. Uh, what we had there is Kamala Harris saying she has a plan. She delivered nothing with respect <clears throat> to that plan during the debate. Did anybody notice that? And uh, Trump comes back repeatedly. That's the way you do it. She doesn't have a plan. She doesn't have a plan. Little humor there. Run, uh, spot, run. Uh, and keep watching the body language of Kamala Harris. If you remember, uh, Al Gore effect effectively lost the debate uh, to George Bush with one. <laughs> Because she mistakenly called tariffs a sales tax, which they emphatically are not. So she goes after Trump saying he's going he's gonna to increase sales taxes and thereby cause inflation, right? That, that's, that's the thesis. And Trump goes, well, if these sales taxes no he says what they are tariffs are so bad why is it that you kept them kept them in place when i put them on it's one of the few things that harris um and biden didn't reverse they kept the trump china tariffs on the steel and aluminum tariffs although they they screwed those up a bit so i mean look 
that interchange exposed both Harris's ignorance on economic matters to anybody who was watching, and also, uh, I think, consolidated support for Trump because the, the whole attitudes towards Harris have shifted. All right, let's do She's a Marxist. This one's a little bit fun. She's a Marxist. Everybody knows she's a Marxist. Her father's a Marxist professor in economics, and he taught her well. Huh? You see what Kamala did like this? Huh? huh? That kind of... Uh, I mean, I hope people are watching. That That doesn't fly at this level, okay? Pre president Trump was presidential throughout that debate. What's interesting about that little clip there is that you had the my ABC moderators, Lindsey Davis yeah. and David Muir, um, allegedly fact-checking Trump, just being nasty about that throughout. And neither Kamala Harris or David Muir slash Lindsey Davis challenged Donald Trump on that. So can we conclude with 100 degrees certainty that her father is a Marxist economist? <laughs> and yeah, as Trump said, um, he taught her well. Okay. Um, border chaos in the economy. Watch this one carefully. This one, this one ties the two issues together because the moderators were trying to keep it separate. You look at these millions and millions of people that are pouring into our country monthly, where it's, I believe, 21 million people, not the 15 that people say, and I think it's a lot higher than the 21. That's bigger than New York State pouring in. And just look at what they're doing to our country. They're criminals. Many of these people coming in are criminals. And that's bad for our economy, too. You know, you mentioned before, we'll talk about immigration later. Well, bad immigration is the worst thing that can happen to our economy. See, that's, that's quintessential war room stuff. That's, that's, uh, that's Bannon writ large right there. That's what we do here in the war room. We talk about how certainly there's border chaos in terms of crime, drug violence, fentanyl killing people, all sorts of things. But at the end of the day, it's also true that when you bring in over 10 million illegal immigrants who are largely illiterate and you flood them into the parts of our labor market disproportionately occupied by black, brown, and blue collar Americans, there's only two things that can happen and they both do. What you do is see real wages get depressed supply and demand in the labor market too much supply and you see americans getting pushed out from their jobs so that was a nice nice thing for trump to be able to do for the audience it probably went over the head of mir and davis certainly went over the head uh of kamala harris um got time for okay no fact check this one was this one was delicious here abortion in the eighth month ninth month seventh month Come on. so so Harris says that's not true but we all know it is and not only did the ABC moderators not fact check her in real time no Kamala you support that um, they let her get away with that so now we know that's true. Um, all right, so <clears throat> when we come back, um, I'm going to put the debate analysis on hold. We're going to get to it later in the show. Uh, we're going to come back with uh, Jack Posobiec, and we're going to do a drill down on uh, Jack's analysis of what happened uh, behind the bushes um, at the golf course in uh, West Palm Beach. Peter K. Navarro in for Stephen K. Bannon. You are in the war room. Be right back. Did you know there is nearly $1 trillion of infrastructure and pandemic funds yet to be spent? That's right. There's a massive amount of money that the lame duck administration is pushing hard to spend in their last few months. 
If Biden can push out these funds, we could see another prolonged inflation surge, just like during COVID. And I'm sure you remember the terrible effects that high prices had on Americans and still do. But there's hope. A surge in prices can be beaten. A gold IRA from Birch Gold Group is the ultimate inflation hedge for your savings. To see how to protect your IRA or 401k, get a free info kit on gold by texting the word Bannon to 989898. Plus, Birch Gold's special offer has been extended through the election. When you make a purchase, they're giving away free Trump silver coins. These unique collectibles depict Trump defiantly raising his fist after the attempt on his life. Don't miss your chance to own this one-of-a-kind piece of history preserved in a silver coin. Protect your savings from Biden's spending spree and get your free Trump silver coins. Text Bannon to 989898 today. That's Bannon to the number 989898. Homes across America are being stolen every day. It's called title theft, and it's why you need to get home title protection from HomeTitleLock.com today. If no one's keeping an eye on your title, then it's just a matter of time until they target you, too. Don't fall prey to these thieves. Go to home.